This is an Avro 504, one of the aircraft that was used to train the pilots of the Royal Flying Corps. Now, sadly, you won't meet any of those pioneers today. But in 1962, less than 50 years after the start of the First World War, a Look at Life short film was presented by a man who actually used to fly these early machines, Air Chief Marshal Sir Philip Joubert. Most people today find it hard to imagine a world without aircraft. But there are some, like me, who can, because it has all happened within a lifetime. Fifty years ago, the Royal Flying Corps was formed, and now its successor, the Royal Air Force, has been celebrating its half century. Rank Film Studios produced over 500 Look at Lifes for the Odeon cinema chain from 1959 to 1967, screening at a rate of one a week. Well, amongst the myriad of subjects covered, it was inevitable there'd be some on military aviation. Well, our next few films are in chronological order. The first was made in 1959 and features the Hawker Hunter, flown by the Black Arrows aerobatic team of Treble One Squadron. Here in the heart of the quiet Suffolk countryside is the home of one of the world's most remarkable jet squadrons, 111 Squadron Royal Air Force, a crack squadron, famed all over the Western world as Treble One. This is an aircraft carrier putting out to sea, passing close beneath the Great Forth Bridge, another symbol of British technical skill. Today, with the last battleship now only a memory, the aircraft carrier has become the nerve center of all big naval operations. These men are the supersonic defenders of Britain's skies. The planes they fly are Lightnings, the latest and fastest fighter aircraft to serve for the Royal Air Force. The jet age has brought many changes in fighter operations. Today, there is no prolonged warming up before takeoff. At moments of alert, the pilot is waiting in his cockpit for instructions. He gets them, starts the engines, and takes off. Since the end of World War II, the helicopter has been the aircraft full of promise. The city centre to city centre Airbus of tomorrow, or maybe the day after tomorrow. Yet, somehow, tomorrow has never quite come, and the helicopter still earns its daily living in specialised services, such as air-sea rescue. Well, a mere three years after that film was made, an altogether different approach to vertical takeoff and landing came in the form of the Kestrel, the forerunner to the Hawker Harrier. Here's a plane that can do what no aircraft has ever been able to do before. It is manoeuvrable as a fighter and can fly above the speed of sound at more than 700 miles per hour. Yet it can land and take off vertically just like a helicopter. It can even hover in flight. An astonishing performance by an aircraft which has introduced a new concept into flying. 